Welcome to the Dino Jelp Land of Hope newsletter for October 2017. We're a voluntary association fighting for children's rights. Our main purpose is saving the so-called witch children in Nigeria, where the belief in witches is a big problem. At Land of Hope, we give our rescued children a good future as we fight against the superstition. Let's begin. The long holiday that recently finished was quite productive for our kids. All our children participated in home classes designed to review all the activities of the ending term and to introduce them to what to expect in the new academic year. Also during the holiday, all five of our children in Junior Secondary School 1 got their third term promotional exam results and all came out in the top five. Congratulations, Ernest, Miracle, Uduak, Idonisit, and Prince. Ime, one of our children who is learning carpentry, has seen his efforts already paying off. He's just constructed chairs and desks, so instead of commissioning a carpenter to make our school furniture, we pay him to do that. As well, our children trained in creative skills like perfume making, bow tie making, foot slipper design, and more. It's a great way for them to repurpose their old clothes. Here are some of the wonderful items they produced. And here's Prince, on his way to church, proudly wearing a bow tie one of the kids made. Looking sharp and stylish, Prince. In celebration of the completion of holiday activities, the children were taken to the Aqua Ibom International Stadium to watch a football match between Nigeria and Cameroon, one of the World Cup qualifiers that Nigeria really needed to win and they did by four goals. Tickets to this exciting event were purchased for each child at Land of Hope so all could attend. A memory they'll never forget. We have arrived at Dharam Salah, home to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a taste of Tibet in India. On September 4, 2017, Enya Rinklen Lovin celebrated her birthday, meeting by personal invitation one of our world's greatest inspirational leaders, the Dalai Lama. Enya expressed, quote, Words are not enough. I'm very emotional and so honored. During their meeting, with Enya's son David Jr. in their presence, the Dalai Lama held Enya's hand the entire time. The two world leaders talked about humanity, religion, world peace, children's rights, of course, science, development, diversity, love, equality, education, compassion, forgiveness, and more. The Dalai Lama told Enya, You are my hero. Enya's humble response, I am just one human being. In India, Enya learned a lot by spending the day with the social workers from Rainbow Homes, who she said are the real heroes on the streets of New Delhi. Walking around, seeing drug-addicted and homeless children and families living under railways was heartbreaking. Enya commented, when we as organizations come together, an important platform is created for sharing ideas and goals on how we can make the world a better place for children. In India, Enya and team also visited Mother Teresa's Missionaries of Charity, a home for developmentally challenged and disabled children. Enya echoed Mother Teresa's historic sentiments. Working for the unwanted and uncared for in society is so important because the most terrible poverty in the world is loneliness and the feeling of being unloved. Here's David Jr. playing with a disabled boy, running around and laughing together, really enjoying each other's company. The nuns at Mother Teresa's missionary observed it had been a long time since the boy had smiled so much. Despite any handicap, we are all human beings. Thanks for joining us for our October newsletter. Dinojel Land of Hope needs your support. Even the smallest amount is important for our work. Please go to the written description of this video, then press the link to our website and make an easy PayPal donation.
On behalf of Enya, David Emmanuel Umem, and all the staff and children at Land of Hope, this is Robert Allen Arnault, their New York ambassador, reminding you to hope, help one person every day.